My Lab Gradebook Show Hide Class Metrics. In your instructor gradebook view, you can access a lot of data about student performance. Let's take a look at the All Assignment view and learn more about class metrics. To navigate there, click Gradebook, View Results by Assignments, All Assignments. This view shows the class average, median, number of results, and more. You can easily access item analysis, too. Simply uncheck this box if you wish to hide class metrics. If you hide class metrics, you will see this view. In both views, you have the pencil icon to change scores as well. The assignments table shows score information for each student and assignment. Use the navigation controls at the top and bottom of the table for moving among assignments to move forward or back by one assignment or by a group of assignments, or to go to the beginning or end of the list. You can sort data in the roster by clicking on column headings. The IA icon appears beside the class average for each assignment with results. You can analyze how an individual student performed on each question in a selected assignment, or use quick exports and advanced exports to generate item analysis reports on assignments for your class. Exports let you generate the data on an assignment across sections in a course group as well, and you can export data on question metrics. Item analysis does not give results for certain types of test gen tests, or for scores of zero submitted by an instructor using managing completes, or using submit score on the student results page. Non-zero scores entered using submit score are included. Metrics from all students completing problems are available when you create assignments as well. These are updated in the summer and at the end of the year based on data collected from students. If this is available for your course, you will see an icon that indicates the difficulty of the question based on metrics. For example, the more bars, the more difficult the question. You can click the sort icon in the table header to sort questions by difficulty. Move your mouse over the icon to see a tooltip that tells you the difficulty rating, medium time spent by students on the question, and the percentage of students who answered correctly on the first try. You can see the total estimated time for the assignment in the header above My Selections list. You will see the total number of questions at each difficulty level by clicking View Question Details above the My Selections list. Learn more about metrics, exports, item analysis, gradebook settings, and more by reviewing our lessons and videos on your product training and support site.